have on the housing market. My next guest says none at all. Home Services Chairman and CEO Ron Peltier is with us right now on set. Ron, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. So the real threat right now, you say, is for buyers? Well, I think the real threat right today is uh, is making certain that credit standards are uh, you know reasonable enough that that buyers can get secure a mortgage. You know, we're seeing a recovering housing market, and uh, we're going to have our best year uh, as uh, housing industry in in eight years. Um, but it's it's still below the peak by a good stretch, and and I think the part of the market that's most stressed is first home buyers. Why is it so below the peak and how come it took so long to gain traction? Is it because the standard changed, the standards changed so much uh, that it was much more difficult to get a mortgage? Uh, it's certainly that, uh, you know, back, um, you know, part of uh, the problems with uh, the housing market when credit standards didn't exist is that people were buying beyond their capacity and uh, they were over leveraged. And, uh, and of course, as the economy uh, turned down and people lost their jobs and lost their ability to pay, uh, of course, and, and values were, were way beyond, uh, you know, their, uh, their reasonable level. I think there's also a shift in people's attitude toward housing. I think so many people are now urban, really city dwellers. The millennials are the ultimate city dwellers. The idea of a little house in the country is no longer a big thing. Yeah. I think there's a whole psychological shift that's occurred. My I, worry, though, is that the Fannie and Freddie and FHA are getting back into the same old thing of making too high loan-to-value loans. And I don't think you do someone a favor putting them into a house they fundamentally can't afford. Right, and that's exactly what we saw back in 2006, Ron. Exactly, exactly. And I, I think to Wilbur's comment, I, I, we certainly see a trend that has emerged uh, over particularly the last four or five years where millennials have opted for, you know, the, uh, the urban lifestyle. But uh, I, I would tell you that that trend is not totally going away, but we're seeing uh, millennials as, as they have children and they're looking for good schools. They tend to, you know, start looking at the suburban, you know, markets. And, um, you know, a, a lot of it is just cyclical. People sure. like one lifestyle for a while and then they like another lifestyle. Sure. I know you don't think a quarter point uh, increase in interest rates is going to do much uh, in terms of an impact on the housing market. But what would impact housing market? Once we get into the cycle of rates are going to go higher, does 2016 look to you like it's going to be consistent increases? You know, I, I, I think we've got uh, a, a run r uh, rate of uh, 100 basis points before it starts to really, you know, impact buyers. The, the, the bigger driver is truthfully is making certain that people have a job. And, you know, if they can't buy, uh, if they don't have a job, they can't buy a, a major asset. So uh, we're seeing an improving economy. And what's very interesting is is housing activity is very strong in markets across the country where uh, you have relatively low unemployment. The higher the unemployment, the, the slower the housing market. Which is why you said the participation rate is so critical. Exactly. Yeah. But to put it in perspective, a 25 basis point increase in mortgage rate on a $250,000 mortgage is $35 a month. That's what it affects monthly payments. Mm -hmm. Great, great analysis. Thanks for putting it in perspective. Ron Peltier, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. We'll see you soon, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Campaign